Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Clare. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you my skincare routine. I am a woman of 45 years old. I have been taking care of my skin for most of my life, but I would say from say late 30s, I really have been investigating anti-aging products and things that will really help me stay youthful and keep my skin looking good. I must admit, um, Angie from Hot and Flashy has been a big inspiration and I've learned a lot from her. So if you'd like to go and check out her channel, I'll leave the link down below. Right, so the first thing that I do, and I, oh, just to add something, I'm going to show you my nighttime routine because I use most of my anti-aging products in the evening. So the first thing I do is obviously cleanse my skin. And I try to research products that are effective but are cost effective. I really don't want to spend a whole lot of money on skincare routines that really don't benefit my skin. Look, there are a lot of really good skincare routines that cost a lot. Um, but then there's also a lot of really good things or products or companies that don't cost a fortune and you get just as good effects. And there are, I'm gonna share with you a little bit later, two main key ingredients that I have found that are the most beneficial and the most anti-aging or have the best anti-aging effect. Those two key ingredients, you can really get your skin looking the best and staying youthful. Okay, I've moved to the bathroom. I'm not sure that the lighting is the greatest here, but if you can just bear with me. So for my cleanser, I have got CeraVe Hydrating uh, Facial Cleanser. Now the great thing about this cleanser is number one, it's really cost effective. We are here in that UAE and I ordered it off iHerb, but I know, I think you can get it off Amazon. It is quite popular. It's really, it's dermatologically tested. It's very cost effective. I've just got a small bottle here. It's got hyaluronic acid in and ceramides. Very good for hydration. Um, and it really cleanses your skin really well. I just use a really small amount. You don't need much. I always use my fingers. A lot of people do use sponges and things, but I really don't see the need. I generally do down my neck. I tend to generally cleanse my face in the shower, in the bath. So I will do my neck and generally my chest. I give it a good rub all over. I'm going to rinse it. Then I just pat my face dry. I think it's really important not to pull on your face, especially the skin around your eyes. So I just pat my skin dry. And the best thing about this cleanser is I never get that really tight feeling. Sometimes after you've cleansed your face with certain cleansers, you get that really tight feeling like, oh gosh, I really need um, to put a moisturizer on quickly. You know, with this one, I never get that. My skin always feels hydrated plus really clean. So if you suffer from dry skin, my skin is a little dry. If you suffer from dry skin and really don't, and really want a hydrating cleanser, this is the one. Okay, so I think that's all dry. Let's go now and put our products on. Okay, my skin is cleansed. The first thing I do is I put an eye cream on. I use the Derma E Anti Wrinkle Eye Cream. My eyes can be a little bit sensitive and I find some of the eye creams that I use can be a little bit irritating on my eye. This one is fabulous. It doesn't irritate my skin and doesn't irritate my eyes. Some or a lot of eye creams actually uh, make my skin around my eyes very irritated and red and just uh, I just can't take them. So I just very delicate around the eye. 
I generally just pat it on, especially around this area, my crow's feet. So I'm finding this is really the main area that I get wrinkles, if you can see here. So that is my greatest area of concern, so I try and really look after that area. Every other night I apply this, so this is vitamin A. Okay. The first product that I use that is really anti-aging is vitamin A. I'm using Differin 1%. I certainly did not start on 1%. I started on 0.25 and then I moved up to 0.5. So with vitamin A, you've really got to start slowly and just get your skin used to it. What vitamin A does? It peels off the top layers of your skin, but strengthens the epidermis, the underlayer of your skin. And it really does give a youthful, fresh um, appearance to your skin. I have found a huge difference since I've been using vitamin A. Here you can get it over the counter. I know in America you have to get a prescription for it. But um, a lot of the, the stores sell retinol, which you can find in a lot of the beauty products these days. But vitamin A is definitely more effective than retinol. Retinol is a derivative of vitamin A. You do not need a lot. You just need probably that much to cover your whole face. I'll just dab it on. I try not get it too much around my mouth. I don't put it near my eyes. Obviously the forehead, forehead, I try and get this part down here because I am a little bit wrinkly there. And I don't generally do my neck. I know some people have allergic reactions on the neck. I tend to leave the neck. So there you go. Now every alternative night I will use vitamin C. Uh, any vitamin C serum. I don't know if you can see this one. Okay, there you go. I would say any vitamin C serum. You get ones that are quite expensive. This one is fairly reasonable. Now, I don't use it with the vitamin A because they're quite, both quite um, intense treatments. Vitamin C is amazing for brightening your skin, for hydration, for anti-wrinkles. It's amazing. Since I've been using vitamin A and vitamin C, my skin has improved tenfold. Once I let that kind of dry a little bit, and then I use a Q10 Plus serum. If you can see that. Q10 Plus. I think any Q10 Plus, um, this brand is Serum Dipity. I'm enjoying it. It's really cost effective, but you can use any brand. This is a collagen stimulator. So very anti-aging, very hydrating. So I just put a little squirt. I'm quite generous with this and then I put it all over. I do put this near my eyes. And whatever product I have left, I tend to just rub on my hands. I know that's the first sign of aging is when we look at women's hands. So any of my products, if I've got any spare, I just rub it on my hands. I, at the moment, I am using the Sukin range. I am loving it. This is the night cream. It's an Australian brand. And it has rosehip oil in it. I love rosehip oil. It is very anti-aging and very moisturizing. So if you're going to buy any oil for your face, buy rosehip oil. It is divine. Okay, so I let that kind of dry. The serum makes my skin a little bit tacky. But I generally try and just give it a couple of minutes. I'll start tidying up around or whatever I need to do. 
and I let that dry for a bit. Then, uh, I love the smell of it. It's not heavily scented, but it does smell like the rose oil. Then I just dab it all over my face and rub it in. Oh, I love it. It's very hydrating. This is the night cream, so it's, it is much thicker than the day cream, but not too heavy. It's not, it absorbs well. Now I'll also generally let this dry, and I know this will take a little bit longer to absorb into the skin. I'm sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder, but I'm checking what I'm doing. And then afterwards, generally I do this just before I go to bed. I let the cream really soak in. And this is the rosehip oil. So, can you see it? It's also the Sukin Range. Oh. It's also the Sukin Range. I have loved this range. I'm quite generous with it. So I know I haven't really given it enough time now, but I'm going to put the oil on. So I'm quite generous with the oil. I don't mind my skin oily, especially when I go to bed. And I just lather it on over the cream. So what they say with creams is, to put the cream on first and let it absorb and let the oil be like a barrier. I mean, it will also absorb into your skin, but they do always suggest putting the cream in first and then putting oil. Okay, I don't know if you wanna have a close up of my skin, but it feels really hydrated and really moisturized. Really don't need to spend a whole lot of money on your skin. You just need to use active ingredients. You need to be regular in your skincare. Every night you need to be religious. It won't, your skin definitely won't transform overnight. And another thing that is not related to skincare that helps your skin is number one, eating healthy, and number two, water. So if you are not drinking water, number one thing that will make your skin look clearer and brighter is drinking water. And number two, it is eating healthy. So if you're eating junk, your skin's gonna look junk. If you're drinking too much sodas or sugary drinks, you're, it's gonna affect your skin. So I drink water and coffee, that's about it. But no, water really is the number one that will help you having a youthful, clear, radiant skin. Well, I hope that's helped you 40-something year old ladies out there. I know um, it's important that our skin looks great and that we remain looking youthful. And yeah, I wanna do everything that I can to help my skin as I age. So I hope that's helped someone out there. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.